and really drags on. And I'm not really thinking about the fact that he doesn't have any gold left in his main that he has to push me. But I'm saying, hey, just in case, let's let's get ready for bears. In case he's going to camp and I have to do something like that. So my expansion's up. I'd rally it to my gold mine and make five wisps. Um, just, you know, typical stuff. Uh, my my army's centered around the middle now because I, I kind of have equal importance at all of my bases. You know, at the bottom left, I have my actual unit production. At the bottom left, I also have all my gold mines. Uh, the right-hand side, however, I have my, my primary tech and, and my moon wells. But here I see his army right as it's leaving his base. This is pretty interesting. Um, I actually, even though my army's huge, I managed to lose a lot of my units, and it's kind of sad that I somehow managed to do that. But he does have two healing scrolls, which does hard counter my heroes because they don't have a lot of status, status effects other than damage output. You see that I am able to lose quite a few dryads here. I do try to pull them towards the back of his army, but again, I do lose some dryads. Um, I'm focusing on him as much as I can. He does a pretty good job of healing. But I'm just going to spam haze and fire as much as I can, and FOK as much as I can. And you can see here that I am picking off quite a few units. There's a water metal gets one attack off at most. It gets dispelled. I just, you know, press 2 and spam Z and click, which is my hotkey. Um, but yeah, you see mortars are doing some damage up here. You see these mortars are 1-0, and they do quite a bit of damage, yes. Um, there's some more breath of fire. I am able to pick off some units. And there's, an, again, another FOK and tons of damage. I put his Dark Mage is really low, he heals that, keeps his, his Paladin vulnerable, but I'm just sitting here, I mean, really, I'm not even micro that hard, but I'm just dispelling out Water Metals whenever they show up, I'm casting FOK and Breath of Fire whenever I'm able to, I chug the uh, Greater Mana Potion in the middle of that, and also, I'm just producing non-stop from my 3 Ancients of Lore. And you can see just that I'm able to do a lot of damage output here, and I'm picking off Mortars. And I'm just producing dried after dried. I'm actually upgrading up the bears now. You can see these lures. I've got adept training on the way, and I've got two more bears being produced. And I just see, okay, yeah, I lost a lot of dryads, but I'm replacing them so quickly that I don't really care. And look, my heroes are up to six and five. What do I care what you have? So he loses this game pretty soon, um, as you can see from the timer, obviously. I just grab another clarity. Um, actually, I just dropped the circlet and, and chug some moon wells, I think. But so there's there's the, the item grabs real quick, and here we go. Focus fire. I see the paladin is very low, so shadow strike. Fo. Oh, didn't didn't get the fok off in time, but he invulnerables. But I cast fok in fire, and I pick off that mortar. Here's dryads able to focus down on the archmage. There's a spell off on the water metal. There's a spell off on the water metal. There's a level six panda, and yeah, there's nothing left for him to do this game. His his paladin's actually out of mana. Could not heal his archmage, so the archmage was doomed to die. Good times, good times. Now, I did go level 3 FOK in that game and not level 3 Shadow Strike because, again, this game is all about picking off units. And while you might say, oh, Shadow Strike, that's all about picking off units, he's got uh, Holy Light. And Holy Light basically will always do more healing than my Shadow Strike will do damage. And so what I want to do is, this is a little bit of what I talked about in my last commentary about Moon fighting against uh, against Exlord, is you want to, to force your opponent to make a choice. And whatever he chooses, just kill the other one. You know, what I did, for example, is is I had, as I had like, Fan of Knives, or, or I had Breath of Fire, like, two different priests. And then I had, like, Rife, I had my Dryads focusing one, and then I just Shadow Strike the other, and they, they ended up both dying, which was kind of cool. But even if he Holy Lighted one, I still would have gotten a free kill. And I could just Clarity back up, and, hey, I'm up 135 gold on you. Okay, fine, you subtract the money from Clarities, but I'm still up experience on you. Um, I'm, up, I'm up mana on you. So all kinds of fun stuff there. So you see, you know, we just go through some of the overview tabs. Why not? Um, you know, every one of the scores I beat him on. Let's look at units. Uh, he actually beat me on units produced because he has summons and militia, but I kill, I kill a lot of units. He kills, you know, 61 units out of my 90 produced. Now, a lot of my units produced turn into buildings, of course, or become detonated, but, you know, I, was, I actually outcrept him, and I, um, I picked off a lot of peasants, and I picked off a lot of water elementals. Um, buildings produced, buildings raised. You can see that, of course, he beat me because of tower production, and, and, you know, farms are, are smaller than moon wells. They're cheaper and give less food, so he has to make more. He even beat me on buildings raised because, well, I... Yeah, okay, I managed to pick off, you know, a couple farms in his in his keep. He actually picked off my entire base. So, okay, there's that largest army, of course. I managed to outproduce him. Uh, we go to the heroes tab. We each killed one hero. I lost my panda stupidly, whereas I managed to kill his archmage when his pan when the paladin was out of mana and he didn't buy any further healing items. Now, I think if his tower push had included a healing potion, which most people do... Um, most players, when they're against Warden, or even just in general, most pushes against Elf include a healing potion, because Elf, whether they go Demon Hunter and Naga Sea Witch, or they go Warden, are going to focus your hero as one of the primary uh, targets. And keeping healing potion on there, it generally tips the balance enough in your favor that you're not going to be in, in bad shape. 
um, items obtain clarities. Uh, mercenaries hired the panda, obviously. Experience gained, I won again because of I actually outcrept him if you check unit kills, and I just picked off a lot of water metals and stuff, and they ended up being very useless for him once I had master iads. It's always funny when you see players that that spam up, um, that that just spam just that spam water metals against uh, destroyers and, and dryads, and in some cases, like when you have a full army. Um, and you've got slow that you don't want dispelled, then yeah, you can summon up water metals because it sucks up uh, three more dispels from the dryads that aren't going to get rid of slows, but it's a it's a fairly small point. And resources, of course, you see just tons and tons of money that I beat him on. Um, you notice that his gold mine actually uh, hits, uh, what, 12,410? So he actually didn't quite manage to mine a full gold mine, I guess, if I, if I get that correct, because I think it's 12,000, like, 500 or something like that. It doesn't really matter, it's a small point, but notice that I obviously completely trounced him, uh, or trampled on him, or whatever, whatever you want to say, in terms of gold mine, um, just because I got an expansion, and that's what I sort of found to be one of the key things you have to do. It's very difficult to beat a rifle priest, uh, and paladin push when you've only got hunters and dryads. When you have like a demon hunter and some archers, you can just sit there and go right click on some of his uh, on some of his priests really easily. Archers do plenty of damage to priests. They're not easily killed by heroes or by any of the piercing damage your opponent has. Whereas if you have huntresses, they end up getting in the way because they're shorter range and they're fat. They don't have a damage type bonus and they take tons of damage from riflemen. They they basically have 400 effective hit points against riflemen, whereas um, it's actually almost exactly the same for archers. I believe an archer will die at about the exact same pace as a huntress will to a rifleman. And yet here's this archer attacking at a slightly faster rate, having a 50% damage type bonus, having more than twice as much range, and being cheaper. I mean, everything you can think of to say, yeah, archers are better at killing priests than, than huntresses are. Um, additionally, with a hero like a demon hunter, it's more tanky. You can mana burn the heroes like the, uh, in this case, the paladin, though that's not generally common against demon hunter. Um, it's just, you know, things that, that play into your favor. So, the, the, this rifle priest uh, and, and paladin push is, is difficult, that i found, so uh, that's why I tried to expand and simply play this more harassment type game. Uh, even though he went paladin, it was only a level 1 paladin for the primary part of the game. Uh, where, where he pushed me, and so, yeah, okay, he eventually runs out of mana despite having Brilliant Sora. Uh, the one fight in the middle by the tavern, it might have actually been necessary because, uh, you know, here he was, not with Militia yet, not building towers, but here I was able to force some, some heals out of him and uh, manage to get myself level 3. If I hadn't have been level 3, I probably couldn't have killed the Archmage off, and I might not have won the game, so... Um, while it might have been a bit of a mistake, it, 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 it in some ways was a bit of a necessary evil. I managed to drain his paladin of mana, um, and, it, and it just worked out for me. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. I hope you enjoyed this audio. hope it was insightful. I hope the volume was decent. Um, and I will see you all later. Bye.